An annual festival which includes live music, arts and crafts vendors, and opportunities to learn about our coastal wildlife is coming to Gulf County this weekend. And we're going to join News 13's Ethan Logue one more time live in Fort St. Joe this morning where it is just absolutely gorgeous over there to tell us more about this opportunity. Good morning, Ethan. Hey, good morning, Kelsey. I know I said it last time, but hopefully the weather is as perfect on Sunday as it is today. We got a beautiful breeze coming off the Gulf. It feels perfect here at Frank Cora Park in Port St. Joe, where the eighth annual Forgotten Coast Sea Turtle Festival is being held this Sunday. So we want to give you those details one last time and make sure you and the entire family can come out and have a great time here at the park. So I'm going to be joined one last time by Jessica Swindle and a couple turtles as well joining us, Ruby and Jojo. So Jessica, to start it off, for people who haven't been with us so far this morning. Can you once again touch on when all the fun starts on Sunday and when it goes until? Yeah, so this Sunday from 11 to 4 Eastern time and we're here in George Core Park in Port St. Joe. Uh, so we look forward to welcoming everybody out for a day of fun. Hopefully the weather is this nice. Yeah. Uh, we all have lots of cold treats to beat the heat too mm -hmm. though. So um, yeah, we'll have kids activities, mm -hmm. food trucks, arts and crafts vendors, and lots of education vendors who will be here to tell us all about sea turtles, birds, all the wildlife that we are so fortunate to share this special place with and uh, they'll have opportunities for people to get involved as well if they want to help out. All right, so a lot of great things happening on Sunday and you said kind of speaking of wildlife for people like Ruby right here, are we going to have the chance to maybe meet some of her and her friends? Yes, we will have several of our ambassadors from the Sea Turtle Center over here throughout the day, so you get to meet some of these guys right. if you haven't had the chance to visit the center. And if you can't make it to the festival, we do invite you to come visit us at the Forgotten Coast Sea Turtle Center um, to meet everybody and learn mm -hmm. all about turtles, terrapins, and tortoises. And now speaking again towards the educational aspect of things with so many conservation groups coming in on Sunday, in your own words, why do you think it's so important to kind of have these lessons and kind of tell both locals and really just residents in general the importance of preserving the Forgotten Coast. Yeah, this is a really, really special place. Um, we share this area with lots of wildlife mm -hmm. and uh, with more people coming to visit and um, they're here during the summertime and this is really a busy time for nesting sea turtles and shorebirds. So this is a great opportunity to showcase the work that people are doing here for in conservation and to educate people who might not know about some of the other critters that are that are here on the beaches and in our our waterways. Um, so we, this is a great, great time of year to do this, to reach a broad audience yeah. and hopefully let people know what they should and shouldn't do when they're here visiting to help protect our wildlife. I like that. Reaching a broad audience is a perfect place to do it. For, again, one last time, 11 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern time here at Frank Core Park in downtown Port St. Joe. You can't miss it. It's going to be an absolutely fantastic time from arts and crafts vendors to, as you can see, a bunch of turtles that will be here and a lot of vendors as well. It's going to be so much fun. So make sure you come on down this Sunday and have a fantastic time out here on the water and in the park. Guys.